Welcome to the channel, YouTube World. Part 2 of Borderlands 3. We went ahead and changed our action skills. So, at first you don't have skill points. You could see there, right there, zero skill points. But right next to that, you can see the pet there, Jabber Sidekick. That's who we chose for our first pet. And uh, I chose a Fade Away for my first um, action skill where I can turn invisible, fire three shots while cloaked and each shot will automatically crit and while cloaked my movement speed and health regen is increased the cloaked movement speed is 25% plus the pet allows us to move 5% more so we're stacking that together for 30% increased uh, speed uh, I could have chosen this pet to do 5% more damage I could have chosen this action skill uh, using Gamma Burst while Flax Pet is dead or alive. Location with 30% of its health, but we'll double the action skills. Yeah, so I didn't go with that, or I could have chosen Flax Sends for 2 Rack to dive bomb enemies. And that pet here gives us 1% of our max health every second. So anyhow, that's just a very brief, whatever you want to call it. What do we got in here? I always get nervous when I do casual Let's Plays because I don't necessarily always like just want to rush right away. Sometimes I want to... My health is full. Sometimes I want to take my time, look around. You know what I mean? I don't always want to feel like I have to... Like, I have to rush, essentially. Sometimes I like looking around. Just enjoying myself. Yeah. Ammo, full. Well, we'll complain about that. I am so tired. Unbelievable. You did it, I'm sad. Now we have to... Can I just jump off of here? Yeah, why not? Why not? Your hunt is not yet over. <clears throat> Get up. Wow! I did it! I single-handedly took on the COV and sent yeah, okay. it packing. Now all that's left is to signal Lilith that the mission is complete. Uh-oh. Is she on our side? Mm. Lilith, I can safely report that Operation Trojan Claptrap was a complete success. I did it all by myself. I'll yeah, bet. Okay. Well, the cults destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this will have to do for now. So, what's your name, Killer? I am Flack, and your voice was in my head. Explain yourself. Yeah, about that. Not the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. We might not have the numbers, but with a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Pandora's a dangerous place. That grenade mod will come in handy. You should equip it before we get started. Let me know when you're ready. You received the mission reward. You should equip the grenade mod Lilith just gave you for completing your mission. Okay. How would we do that? 
Is that the grenade mod there? Okay. That should be it. A messy tool of death. I like it. All right. You can throw grenades by hey, you your blood you be screaming. Okay, let's... More CLV. Let's see what you got, recruit. There's too many of them! We're doomed! Doomed! It's the Firehawk! The God Queen wants her hand! Nice. We're just gonna... I think I was being careless there. This isn't Call of Duty. I don't know how to use my action skills, though. I don't even know, did I even use my cloak? I'm so confused. I know that L1's for the pet, but I don't know if you have to hold down L1 or not. Yeah, I think that's just... Well, you know what I could do. Piss on it. Let me look at my controls. Yeah, L1 is um, your action skill. I think it's holding down L1 that sends your pet. Mark the target with up, toggle firing mode, previous active mission, next active mission, secondary use, next weapon, primary give up, reload, jump. Yeah, so it's when you hold down the L button. All right, we got a foothold. Maybe things are turning our way. Come on, killer, you're with me. Let me catch you up. A while back, we found a map led to vaults all over the borderlands. Dream come true, right? I didn't realize how big of a target it would make us. We got attacked, and the map was lost. <coughs> Been looking for it ever since. This way. So focused on finding the map, I didn't notice that Pandora was changing. The bandit clans used to just murder each other for fun. Now they're all under one banner a cult. The children of the vault. All right. Come on, let's take a look around. The leaders of the cult, the followers worship them like gods. They're convinced the map will lead them to something called the Great Vault, and they've been slaughtering anyone who gets in their way. I heard a rumor that a bandit clan found an alien artifact in the desert. I'm waiting for that loot. That's what we're here to find out. Want some? Oh, I could touch my pet. He's a meat thief. Okay. Yeah, I think I've already been here. Yeah, I was already in this section. Yeah, this is where I was when I ran up. That's right, because I jumped over the ledge. Alright. Locked. <laughs> Not gonna keep a siren out, though. <clears throat> okay, so we're just <clears throat> walking through walls. Some money. What do have here? That's a strong radio. We 
have to beat them to the Sun Smash. I'll open the gate. Okay, I think I got everything. No, I didn't. See how easy it is to miss something. That's why I like to take my time. Yeah, we don't want to put our hand in there. The hell is this thing? This looks like one of those... Anyways. Whatever. Let's go to the next section. I am so tired. It's unbelievable. Now, naturally, there's going to be points, parts when I play the game, and there's no recorded footage because I can't always just record 24-7. So, but maybe sometimes I'll do some no commentary gameplay. Sometimes it's just nice to just not record, to be perfectly honest, because... It can still get stressful. Especially when I'm tired. I'm set up camp and gather some intel on the Calypsos. Find the Sun Smasher war chief and do whatever it takes to get that map. Seems like you guys got this. Good luck. I'm going to go hang out in some trash. So what are we working with here? Well, this place kind of sucks, but it's all we got at the moment. Not the first time the Raiders have had to start from scratch. It's no sanctuary. Hopefully gets that ship working soon. But yeah, sometimes it's just nice to play the game and especially when I'm tired and I just want to like relax, be like half asleep, play super slow. So that's why there might be gaps in the story, but There are so many games that come out, so little time that I have, I can't do uh 100% walk-through playthroughs, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, we'll go in there in a minute. Is there anything up top? You never know, sometimes there is. Alright. Well, there's nothing in there. We're full on ammo. I want a new weapon. I don't mind the shotgun, but I want something a little different. An assault rifle or something. There we go. You know what is something I was just thinking? Even if it's just seventy percent. Just to take a little bit of the edge of how loud the music is in conjunction to how loud I am. Some of that money. Oh, something's in the toilet. Really? That just so happened to be in there? I just want to see if we unlocked anything. Oh, okay. I could be even darker with the black. I could go full out green. Oh, I see. That is pretty neat. I like the bright green. I might do that. Uh, 
Oh, I see. It's sort of the accent color. Right, okay. Anyways, whatever. That's if we wanted to respect. Oh, you can rename your character. You could rename your pet. Interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, and it changes your pet too completely. Uh, a little bit of money. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know why. All right, let's just get to it here. I want to find the uh, the weapon vendor, isn't there? Like a ah, oh, there we go. Ammo dupe, dump, <laughs> dupe. Ammo dump. We've got meds there. Refill ammo. Yeah, that's expensive. I don't want to do that. There's no uh, weapon vendor. All right. Children of the vault are dangerous. Trust me, you don't want to see what happens if a bandit has the power of the vault. Sixteen, seventeen. I'm trying to think of what to do next. There's something with keys, a uh, keys icon here. I don't know what this is. I think this is for vehicles. Yeah, I think that's for vehicles. Wow, I seriously need to sleep. I may have to... I might have to take a break from recording. And just play at my own leisure, because I'm like, I feel brain dead right now. What is this here? Those planets are fast travels, right? Uh, fast travel. Quick change station, okay. Right, that is the vehicle station, figured as much. <laughs> map transition connects to a different map. I'm assuming this is all area I haven't uncovered yet. Broken vending machine, oh, buy and sell guns. There you go. That's where I should go. Custom waypoint. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, really wasn't that far at all. My vending machine is broken. Help Marcus repair his vending machine so you can get at them sweet guns. Ah, how am I supposed to profit off this war torn? Yeah, I mean sell premium weapons to heroic vault hunters such as yourself. Let's fix my vending machine. And by that I mean, you fix it. Okay, but how do I go about doing that? Well, let's read the quest, shall we? Uh, find something to a powerful connection. Yeah, we'll do that. That makes sense. Well, there, we could just toggle it from there. Damn cycles, always scavenging to make their buzz accident and meat bicycles. You'll need to replace that circuit with something. Hmm. You know. Some skags are chock full of electricity. Get me one of their spines. Better get used to doing things like this if you want to survive on Pandora. Oh, and if 
if you're feeling extra gruesome, you could also try getting a human spine from one of those filthy bandits. That could work. So the quest is called Powerful Connections. I wonder if I should do... I wonder if I should do my videos like that. Right, so now that I got that quest, Powerful Connections... How long have I been doing this here? 20 minutes. Yeah, I think I should end the video here. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna call this part 2. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video here. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Go ahead. Now make sure when you play the game, and you go and you check that, your pet turns on you. Right? He just grabs you, and he stuffs your face right in that bucket. Whatever. Barrel. Whatever. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, of course that would be great. If not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.